guys, Ultimate Toy Collector here. Uh, today we're going to take a look at Cartoon Network's new Mega Man fully charged figures. Uh, first, let me thank Jack Specific and Gen Com for sending these to me. Um, we got all of the first wave of figures. Um, we got a Mega Buster and a Mega Buster Lab. The Mega Buster Lab is a playset that's really cool. Uh, so thank you guys for sending these our way so we can take a look at them. Um, these right now, uh, first I saw these in GameStop and I, I was blown away by them. They were they were really cool and uh, I've seen them in Target and I believe Walmart's carrying them as well. And of course, obviously your online retailers. Uh, these follow the characters from the Cartoon Network uh, show, Mega Man Fully Charged. And it introduces Mega Man to a new era of uh, gamers and kids. Uh, and just puts them back in, in the light that I grew up with. And uh, I, I really love the Mega Man franchise and happy to see it again. Uh, and as I've already said, the toys are really cool. So um, let's take a look real quick. I have all of them back here. We're going to open them up. We're going to take a look. Uh, they come with their own little, like... Um, feature you know like right here guts man if you press his head down his stomach expands until until it pops and you know goes back in uh and mega man obviously he's got his blaster and there's also a mega man with a different suit back here that we'll take a look at you know he takes on um drill man's powers uh, as he does in the game, you know, one of my favorite features of the video game was that Mega Man, after defeating uh, one of the enemies, usually could take on uh, the powers of that character. So uh, here we have two suits of armor for Mega Man. And uh, then we have, let me see, one, two, three, four. We got five villains in a playset, and we have a Mega Buster. So... So before we open them up, I just wanted to take a look at the packaging. So we just came back real quick. Uh, packaging, obviously, as I said, Cartoon Network up there. Mega Man fully charged. This is the Mega Man character. And we got a cool little illustration of Mega Man on the package. Uh, all of the packages have Mega Man on the front. And on the back here, on the back, uh, obviously, it says Mega Man fully charged. And there we go. So you can collect all of the pieces off of the characters right here. And uh, so they're blasters and stuff. And you can switch it out without switching the armor. You'll just be able to switch his blaster and put it on Mega Man, which is pretty cool. And uh, there on the bottom is some of the characters. There's a few more. Um, but you have Ice Man, Wave Man, Air Man, um, and there's a couple others. So. You know, we will show those to you. And as I said, uh, we have a playset and we have a Mega Buster. So that's one of the coolest little features there. You can switch out his uh, blaster with the villains if you collect them. So uh, as it says, collect and connect to transform Mega Man's Buster. All right, so we're going to open this up and take a look. All right, so here we have our Mega Man fully charged figures out of the package. They're pretty cool. Um... Let's look here first at our blue Mega Man. I want to say classic, even though it's a you know slightly slight change on the um, the armor. But to me, blue is always classic Mega Man. So you can see right here with his Mega Buster, you just take the power effect and shove that right in there. And you're able to, uh, you know, hold them so that he's blasting you. Now, as far as standing, as far as standing, um, you got to get, uh, you know, give him a little balance. But he is able to uh, to stand. And the size is, it's a good size for him. Uh, now, these, these are great because as far as the price point, for those of us that haven't purchased any of the overseas imports um these are really a great price let's take a look at the other mega man and uh so this mega man 
has drill man's powers um right here you can see he's got his drill and it has you know you just turn like so and he can drill just like drill man he's matching uh his armor matches drill man as we see in the back back there uh which is what we're used to seeing in the video games where he assumes the powers of the villains that he defeats and his armor changes a little bit usually changes very similar to that villain that he defeated as far as the articulation on both figures you know the head you're able to swivel around um his arm has a single joint and the legs ball joint at the hips and you're able to bend at the knee very basic articulation on these figures um but let's remember this is a kid's line for a kid's show. Uh, so even though we might be Mega Man fans, um, these are ideally geared towards children. Uh, now, Mega Man here, he comes with uh, a rock that you can drill and he'll break. So that's his, his little accessory there. Next, let's take a look at Iceman. Now, Iceman uh, is a different little take on him, I think, uh, but he's he's cool. He's got, like, his little uh, North Pole hat back there, and uh, he's about the same size as Mega Man. Now, you can take his one arm off, and I believe this is intended to go on his arm. You can take his little... Ice projectile out as well. Um, now I'm not sure why this figure it goes on the arm unless I'm putting it backwards. I'm gonna try. There we go. Let's put it on backwards. All right. So that's how you put it on. And now he has those capabilities. Um, you can slide the hand off, and there you go. Remember, the blue part goes to the back. And now it doesn't slide and pretty cool same articulation uh, he's got articulation in the knee and the hip uh, and articulation in the shoulders and at the elbow somewhat and the head done a ball joint very cool characters though I do like them uh, and as we said before we could pop that off. We could put this into Mega Man's blaster, and should be able to pull that off. And let's see if we're able to. There we go. We pull that off. All right. So Mega Man, you have to turn it around. So to put it on Mega Man, you have to turn it around. To put it on Iceman, you put the blue part on him first. I like it. I can dig it. So we'll take that off. And we'll test out the uh, the other ones as we, as we come along the characters there. So here's Iceman. All right. Uh... Next up, let's take a look at Airman over here. Airman has low propellers. Um, let's see, the ones up here, do they turn? They do not turn. He has, he has a piece on his back. This piece, um, when I took him out, popped off. I had to pop that in. Uh, so there is some assembly required these pieces do move a little bit so i guess if you're gonna imagine him flying up you could kind of move it and do what you need to do with that uh, but very little assembly required uh, as far as his hands here at the shoulder uh, nothing at where his elbow would be again at the shoulder these move uh, he has at the hips 
and at the knees. That's the articulation that you have with them. Uh, pretty cool characters. I do like them. I'm really a fan. I'm really a fan of Mega Man in general, so um, I might be just loving these characters just because the nostalgia. But uh, honestly, I think these are pretty cool characters. Um, and so he comes with this blaster or buster. And again, we're able to slide off Mega Man's and slide it right onto his arm. So it's a cool way where without having to buy a bunch of extra Mega Men, you know, I think Jax did a, a, a cool thing where they gave us two versions of Mega Man and then allowed you to switch out his buster um, with just purchasing the villains. I think they realized that, you know, if kids are buying this line, parents aren't going to want to buy uh, a bunch of different Mega Man characters in different colors to have the... Uh, the different suits so they made it they made it simplistic they allow you to purchase the villain and by purchasing the villain you get the other blasters that you can put onto Mega Man the next one we're gonna take a look at is going to be Wave Man move Mega Man back a little bit so here we have Wave Man and he's got like his little scuba gear, he's got his flippers, a little snorkel. Um, this piece had to be put on him when I took him out of the package. All right, so you just pop it in the back there and pop it right in and uh, no problems there. As far as his articulation, uh, head doesn't really move a lot because he's got the little snorkel piece. Uh, shoulders, good range of motion. It looks like here at the elbow joint, like it's supposed to move, but it's static, it doesn't move. And same on this side, uh, but the elbows, the hips, and then um, at the knees. So you are able to pose them, make them run, jump, swim, do whatever you want. Uh, he has a little harpoon piece on his blaster. And as we've said, Slide him off to the back there. And he comes with a harpoon piece that we can put on to Mega Man. And there's Mega Man's harpoon piece. And so we have two more villains that we're going to take a look at, two more characters. Stand Mega Man up. Um, cool little harpoon piece. And uh, so, next, let's take a look at Drill Man. And as I said before, if you look at Mega Man there, uh, that is what we've known Mega Man as in the past, where he absorbs the power of the villain you defeat, and his suit is able to change the colors. So, that's what I was talking about. But here we have Drill Man, um, and he also comes with a drill bit. If you don't want to pick up the Drill Armor Mega Man, we'll be able to put that onto Mega Man. Uh, and here, so with his drills, he presses a little button, and he spins his drills drill. So it's pretty cool. On um, his head, it will go like that. I don't think I'm. I was trying to see if there was another little button somewhere, but I don't think so. And then this, I had to pop on the back when I took him out of uh, out of his packaging. The shoulder pieces, you can go upright, all the way out to the side. I kind of like them up at like a little angle there. Uh, as far as his articulation, the elbows, good articulation um, at the shoulders good articulation, um, no head, because obviously that's built into his body, and at the legs, you have the, the hip joint, and the knees, decent range of motion, all, ca all of the characters seem to have that very basic um, range of motion, put him there, and as I said, if you don't want to get the extra Mega Man, you just get this one, and you're able to switch out his 
piece and you're almost exactly the same as that so just regular armor and you got that there and our last guy the big baddie in the back guts man I'll move ice man out of the way So here we have Gutsman, the big baddie. Um, this is the blaster piece that would go on Mega Man. All right, so we'll put that off to the side. Now you see in size how much bigger he is than the other characters. And he's got a cool little function here. So um, his belly is a, a rubbery type of material. It stretches. It's almost like one of those uh, board games where you press it until the thing like explodes. But so here... We'll hold his head and press it. So from the side, so you get one more look. Press it one, two, three, four, five. So five presses and uh, his stomach expands and then uh, pops and goes back down. He was very easy to assemble as well you just have to put his pack on under his back and we drop that give me one second all right so let's try that one more time there we go all right um these range of motion at the elbows actually full range of motion um, the elbows here, um, at the shoulders, good range of motion. He's able to turn his, his wrist as well. He's got these little tiny legs, so you kind of have to watch the way you pose him so he doesn't tip over, but, um, at the hips and are we able to get some at the knees? Let's see. Yeah. A little range of motion at the knees as well. At least on one knee. Let me see if this one's stuck. Ah, uh, there we go. All right. So. You are able to bend the knees there and rotate the hands. So this is a bigger character than the others. Um, very cool nonetheless. Put him in the back here. And so here, we'll just take that off that out and there you go so now there's a looks like a not really a blaster but a scooper um but that is able to go on to Mega Man so it's pretty cool uh I do like that these figures overall for the price point are pretty good uh this is the Mega Man fully charged Mega Buster Lab it's a transforming playset uh, so let's take a look real quick. So it says works with Mega Man fully charged action figures. All right. Over 10 action features in one set. Um, Mega Buster transforms into a mega laboratory. And then right here, you guys can't see it, but, uh, well, actually right here it says figure sold separately. So it doesn't include the Mega Man figure. And then set includes one Mega Man play set, one Mega Man play set cover, chair um slide spinning target launcher six discs and two label sheets so i'm assuming the label sheets would be the stickers so there's going to be a little bit of uh assembly required i guess uh so we're going to crack this open and take a look all right so here's our mega buster lab all right just to kind of show you the size of it put mega man here and we will put Iceman next to him as well, just so for a little size comparison. So here's two of our guys. And you see how big it is. Now, that it's a playset. It's it's uh, the size of, um, you know, the uh, electronic Mega Buster with lights and sounds. Um, but this is a playset. It... Uh, so on the top here, there was some assembly required. 
Um, I have to admit, I was never a fan of putting stickers on stuff as a kid. And I'm still not a fan of it as an adult. So I did have to do some assembly. So right here on the side, we'll pop that open. All right. That's some action features. We can swing these doors. Now, I did do one thing wrong. I put this sticker on the outside when it should have been on the inside, but whatever. This is a, uh, and I'm going to put it on, but, so you take one of these little Mega Man discs, you drop it in the top here, and then, let's try it again, it launches. All right, not too far, but it, it, it does launch. Let's try that one more time. Because it broke. It broke. It lost. All right. So here we go. Now you can see the full playset. Uh, it has some moving features. Oh, and then inside here like a is slide. a slide. All right. So I'm going to slide that down there. So, like I said, my. Uh, Putting stickers on is not one of my favorite things, but we did have to do this with this playset. Um, you have a little chair up here where he can sit with a little command center. You have a target practice area up here that you had to put together with that. Um, I don't know what that little button does. It's supposed to spend something, but not sure. Uh, we have a slide, and then right here, so if we move the slide, right here you have some things on the wall there, some schematics, and you just press that, and it changes. All right, and then we have, over there, we have Drill Man and um, Wave Man on the, uh, on the thing there. And then here's a little, little elevator to go up and down. Let's put some of our guys in here just so you can see the scale so Mega Man could go right in there Iceman could slide down the slide with some assistance we can put somebody safely on the elevator and it won't uh, it won't fall I'll actually I'll hold it right there and even for one of our bigger guys like um guts man let's see if he could fit in there so even guts man could almost fit in there you can put him down here and you know have him entering into mega man's lair and who else do we have uh we'll take drill man so here's, you know, our playset, and it does fit our, our characters. Uh, it's got a couple little features. It's pretty cool. Um, for the kids, this is a great uh, playset for them to use because they can use their imagination with it. You know, a little blaster here. Uh, as I said here, the doors, the doors open. And, uh, and you, you're able to, you have enough little room now. The only thing that, uh, I didn't like was I had to put the stickers on, but that's just something that I personally have never liked, uh, trying to line up stickers because I always get something wrong. But, uh, overall I do like the, the play set. It's pretty cool. It goes very well with the characters and everything folds up so that you are able to collapse it and take it with you. This is the mega buster. This is cool, it has lights and sounds, uh, and this is perfect for your little Mega Man out there. Um, you're able to, obviously it's uh, tied down on the package here, but inside they're able to stick their hands in there. Uh, let me show you on the back. Lights, sounds, and power up just like Mega Man. And so in here you would just stick your hand in it and you just squeeze and you blast. You got a couple, couple different lights and sounds. And are you able to 
I was trying to see if you hold that effect, like in the game, you could just hold it and release it, but it doesn't. So it's got a couple different features. Um, it lights up, it has the sounds, it's cool, uh, and it's the perfect little um, little prop for your Mega Man fan. So all of this, I hope you guys find it. And GameStop, Target, Walmart, uh, you can go on Jack, Jack Specific website, um, and all your other online retailers, Amazon, everybody should have these. Uh, these are really cool. All of the items, the Mega Buster playset, the Mega Man figures. Um, let me just put some of these figures by it just so you can see how cool. Um, you know, I think Jax has done a great job with the line. Kept it very, uh, at a good price point. Kid friendly. And i um, very happy with it. So thank you again, Jax for sending this our way, giving us a chance to check them out and, and review them. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing if they do a second line with a few more characters. Uh, I haven't had a chance to fully check out the show, but uh, from what I've seen, it is cool. Uh, it does come on Cartoon Network. And if you're a Mega Man fan, You'll probably enjoy it so let's put some of these guys ah guts man is so big he just takes up all the room all right so we're we're just gonna there we go we'll throw guts man right there and uh so thank you guys thank you for checking me out check me out on uh facebook check me out on youtube uh the ultimate toy collector check out cool dad pop culture reviews and toy news international and uh, San Diego Comic Con is just around the corner. So I'm sure we'll be seeing some more goodies. And um, until next time, guys, happy hunting.